All right, welcome back. Uh, this video is gonna be a more of a special case kind of video. If you're just at home and you're watching this video, uh, trying to figure out how to use Cubase or use any other audio application for that matter, um, this video really isn't gonna be that important to you. If on the other hand, you really wanna understand the theory of what's going on inside your computer or any of those applica audio applications at a, at a higher, more basic level, uh, this is a pretty cool video. It's gonna be short and sweet, but um, the concept we're gonna do today is something called binary numbers. If I can write a B, binary numbers. <laughs> and if you've taken any sort of computer science course before, um, you might have actually learned this already. But it has a pretty profound impact on, on everything that you do in your digital life, including using your cell phone or listening to music or uh, turning on your computer, uh, turning on your iPad, right? All of those digital devices essentially on the inside can be broken down and rendered into this binary number code. Uh, and here, here's why it's important. We talked about in the last video why digital audio uh, needs to take a series of measurements, right? It's, it's a digital system, it works in numbers. Um, we didn't actually really talk about those numbers other than just describing you know, the, the frequency at which um, it would take measurements. Um, but when it takes a measurement, what is it actually taking a measurement in? Well, inside every computer, um, it, it can't really think for itself, right? It doesn't think like you and I do. Instead, it works as a series of ons and offs. Right, and these are just internal circuit switches, you know, inside the actual computer, ons and offs. And we can represent those ons with the number one, and we can represent those offs with the number zero. Those are really only the two numbers the computer can actually truly think about. It doesn't have a separate register for, you know, number two or number three. Rather, it just has on and off. Um, if you think about our number system, our number system is actually kind of similar in the sense that we only have really nine number registers, right? We have, or I guess, 10 if you count zero. Zero is a number. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, right? Those are the, and then after that, uh, we're out of numbers, right? We actually have to start adding these together to get our new system of numbers. Because if you think about it, right, we have not, we have ten symbols, you know, counting from zero. When we run out of symbols, what do we do? Well, we say we've run out of numbers once. Let's start counting again, right? And that's what ten is really saying to you, right? It's saying we ran out of numbers once. Let's count again. And you keep doing this, right? You get all the way up to nineteen. Right, and then once once you want to go higher than nineteen, you say, "Oh, well, we've run out of counting numbers twice. Let's start counting again." Right, until you get to thirty and forty and fifty, and then something very cool happens when you get to ninety nine. Uh, when you get to ninety nine, right, we've run out of numbers counting the number of times we've run out of numbers. So let's start all over again and reset both of those to zero. Right, so we've run out of numbers counting the number of times we've run out of numbers. Start counting again. Right, and that's really what one hundred is. So something very similar is going to happen inside the computer. Uh, we have zero, right? So whenever a computer wants to say zero, it can say zero, no problem. Whenever it wants to say one, no problem. We have one. We just turn a circuit on, right? That means one. But when we, when we get to number two, we have a problem, right? We have no symbol for two, but no problem, right? We know that when we got to number nine in our system and we want to get to 10, all we say, we've run, we've run out of counting numbers once, right? So that's it. So two in binary is one zero. And if you've ever studied binary before, or been in a computer science course, you've heard the following joke. Uh, there are only 10 kinds of people in the world, right? Those who understand binary and those who don't, right? Get it? Because this, this is in binary actually two, right? There are only 10 kinds of people. All right, none of you are laughing. I can tell, I can hear it over the internet that none of you are laughing, but that's okay. Uh, so when we get to three, we just add one, right? We can we start counting again. Three is we run out of digits once, keep going. Four is a lot like 99. We have, we can't represent two, right? So we've run out of places here. We've run out of places here. What do we do? Well, we start over and we reset them both. So five, right? We start counting at one again. Six is a little tricky. Whoops. Six, we actually, you know, we add one here. We run out of digits here. So we have to reset this one. And then we've run out of digits once, so it's actually one one zero. Seven is one one one. Eight. Oh my God! Look, we ran out of digits here, here, and here. We're already at a thousand, uh, and so on. Right now, it'll be one zero zero one. And this, if you're just watching this video just because you accidentally clicked on it, you're probably just thinking this is the worst video in the world. Um, that I don't know what I'm talking about, and 
you know, maybe I, there are some things I don't know what I'm talking about, but here, uh, hang on, right? This is what happens inside every one of your digital devices, right? Whenever one of those devices want to represent the number three, this is how it actually looks in terms of the circuits on the inside, right? It turns this circuit on, this circuit on. Um, and, you know, that's how a computer quote unquote thinks. Well, so why do we care about this? Well, because it turns out when we're making our audio measurements, uh, we're thinking about things in terms of numbers of bits and a bit is a zero or a one. So you might've heard the expression eight bit audio or 16 bit audio, right? Or even 32 bit or 24 bit, right? Basically all of these things just mean how many zeros and ones we're going to be using to render that number. Okay, and this is going to increase or decrease our audio quality depending on how many numbers we have. Um, one other trick before we go on to the next video, uh, if you want to do binary numbers really quickly, uh, you can think of these as place values, right? Similarly, uh, if you have the number, I'm going to write it over here, if you have the number, let's say 4,274, right? You really have four one thousands, right? And then you have two hundreds and then seven tens right, and then four ones, and you add it all together and you get 4,274. That works the exact same way in binary, except instead of multiplying by 10, you have to multiply by two. So in other words, this first numbers digit is actually, let me write out a binary number here to give us some context. So our first digit is the ones digit. This would normally be the tens place, but it's actually in binary the twos place, and then the fours place, and the eights place. So if we just add all these together, we have one eight plus one two plus one one, we add those together and we actually learn that in base 10 or our normal numbers, this number is actually equal to 11. Uh, 1011 binary is our 11 equivalent. If you don't understand this, no problem. Um, there are literally hundreds of YouTube videos from made by other people who probably explain this a lot better than I do. Um, just look up binary numbers on YouTube and you will be barraged with how many people uh, wanna instruct you on this. If you're still convinced this is absolutely the dumbest thing ever and that computers shouldn't think like this and this is all wrong, uh, good for you, you're wrong, but that's okay. Um, but I'll show you one cool trick to convince you otherwise. Here's one cool thing you can do with binary. In our number system, multiplying and adding, or sorry, multiplying and dividing by 10 is really easy, right? If I wanna multiply 4,274 and I wanna multiply it by 10, everyone who's watching this video should be able to do that, right? It's as simple as just adding a zero on the end, so you get 42,740. Super easy, right? Well, in binary numbers, it's actually really easy to multiply and divide by two. Right? If I want to take the number eight and divide by two, all I have to do is take the last digit here and just go bye-bye. And if I look up here, right, four is one, zero, zero. And if I divide two, eight by two just by removing one digit, we actually get four, right? And, and likewise, if I want to double a number, take four and I want to make it into eight in binary, all I have to do is just add a zero, right? Now it's eight. Um, so some math actually in binary becomes really easy. Uh, and actually multiplying and dividing by two is actually a very common thing you want to do in the world of audio. Just, um, you know, taking the amplitude up or down by half is useful. Okay, in the next video, we'll actually, you know, we won't talk about binary too much more in depth, um, but I just thought this was sort of a fun aside to tell you like how a computer actually thinks internally about numbers. Um, but we are, in the next video, what we are gonna see is the, the ramifications of using binary numbers on the effect of our audio quality uh, and what sort of things we can do about it in order to increase or decrease the quality based on how many of these binary numbers we have. All right, I'll see you in the next video.